Hey guys, what's up, Aries? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and any outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways, so this could be your energy or the energy of a person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Mm. Also, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what's yours, leave the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, Aries, y'all definitely have something going on around you with a particular situation, please. I think it's trying to wrap back around, but it's been a it's been a long time coming or a long road. All right, let's just find out. All right, definitely feeling like something's wrapping around because some of those cards were looking like it was someone who ghosted you. See what Five of Pentacles, someone who left you behind, bred from you. Damn, it could have been a Capricorn, there could have been some greed, and it could have turned into a legal issue. It doesn't have to. Libra Capricorn energy. Something is. All right, this could go a couple of ways. Empress at, oof. Empress at the bottom, Taurus energy with that Seven of Swords. And you have the Five of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Justice. So it could have been a situation where there was greed, where somebody just straight ghosted somebody, toxic situation. The Empress is here, so how it could have been, you know, like a pregnancy involved, but you have justice here for the outcome. So let's see. It's kind of crazy energy. Show me this five of pentacles, king of swords, Aries Leo, Sag, and then, I'm sorry, Aquarius Libra Gemini energy, but that's somebody like kind of just shutting off their emotions, turning off the light switch, like yeah, the Four of Swords. So this person probably has not been talking, but the tower is there, so something's going to change. So this could have been somebody who ghosted you, who left you behind, or vice versa, or basically did, um, like, they, the least they could have. So the, the Eight of Pentacles, you could have worked with this person, but the Nine of Swords is here, so this person is still in, it's like they're, I don't know, something backfired, but they're stressed like hell now. Losing sleep. And it feels like they're missing you. With the four of swords there, it's all about healing. So it could have been somebody that you haven't really talked to in a while, or somebody is feeling very lonely and missing you. Yeah, the ten of swords. They're worried this is over. Or it could have ended, because this is just the situation, right? So it definitely could have ended, or this person could be like that stressed that something is over. Show me this devil. This is Capricorn energy. But this is temptation. This is like things that kind of chain us, that bound us. It could be addictions. It could be a person. Mm. The moon there is Pisces energy, but... It's also what I was just talking about, that those um, relationships or addictions, those things that kind of chain us, that feel like that we can't break away from. There could have been secret deception. It could have been a whole lot of things around that. Someone could have had options. What is this judgment card? It's an interesting energy. Um interesting energy coming off of the card sorry but with the nine of wands that's how it's been it's been a struggle you've been dealing someone's been dealing with this for like a while here you could have tried to move or just moved on from it somebody could have you know kind of separated yourself from the situation but we have this judgment there so it's like somebody wanting to return here wanting to move to calmer waters but could have blocked them it's it's kind of like confusion on how but this person is most definitely attached to you 
Show me this justice for Aries for the outcome. <laughs> There's your energy. King of Cups, King of Scorpio, Pisces, and the Empress. So Taurus energy. You have the Emperor, which is your energy. Also the Empress. So you have divine counterparts, right? Justice is there. So there could have been a legal situation. Could have been dealing with a Libra. But it's all about those scales trying to balance out. The King of Cups could have been, uh, it could be like a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but he's also that king of emotions. And he doesn't, he doesn't necessarily wear them on his sleeve, but it's somebody that you have a lot of emotions for. There's like a, a deep, um, although it ended, it looks like it's, it's balancing back out because you have the chariot, which is Cancer energy again. Um, but that's about things moving forward. On the right track, it looks like. You have to find, like, so this is trying to balance out, get that balance on its own. It's wrapping back around. After this situation ended, and then you went through a time of struggle, or someone did, but they never really detached from their situation. They tried to move on, it looks like, or someone did. But the wheel is here. So that's things moving forward. It's all about divine timing. But it's definitely um, balancing here. Things are definitely moving forward. And it's more so like because of, maybe it's on both sides, like a feeling of not being able to let go. And someone is very worried that it's over. Old cycle is ending, so new ones can begin because that's what's happening. And this time, it looks like it's trying to, um, with the wheel and the, um, sorry, the justice there, things are trying to move forward towards a, towards some type of balance. like the feeling that you can't let go. Or at least that's what someone's feeling here. Very much an attachment. All right, Aries, I hope this helps. I hope this resonated. If so please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, you can find that information below as well. I forgot when I was talking, I got sidetracked. You have the Five of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So this is somebody um, pretty determined. It can be a lying card, so just be mindful if this is like a toxic situation as it was last. But the Four of Pentacles, like somebody, somebody is still very much holding this close to them, although it had the appearance that it was over. All right, Aries, talk to you guys later. Bye.